What's up everybody, JV Outdoors here. <clears throat> and we have another review to do from Bright Night. They sent me another flashlight. This is the T18 Artemis. And you're gonna say, well, what's so special about the T18 Artemis compared to the last one you did? They got a cool little thing. Let me show you. Oh, if you can't tell, that's my buddy Tom from, uh, I'm gonna ruin his last name, but it's Tom Keltish or Keltig and everything outdoors. He's doing a live right now. Kind of trying to pay attention, but I need to get this review done. Cause I actually gotta do a day sleep study tomorrow. I hate doing them. And so that means I gotta get up 4.30 in the morning. So I gotta get this review done now. So uh, yeah, if you haven't seen, checked out my buddy Tom, I'll put his link in the description down below. Go check him out. And everybody in that chat, all real good people. We got Raymond Williams in there, we got After Five Outdoors, we got Tubby Guy Outdoors, The Rights Trapping's in there, Mark J. Larson's in there. Yeah, tons of good people in that chat right there. But, uh, <coughs> what's so special about the new light that Bright Knight sent me? Well, you can see it's kind of built a lot like the other one. So it's got that same battery like the other one that hooks up to a C charger and you charge the battery itself instead of having to put it in a port. But it's got the you know, zoom in and zoom out. something way different about this one. Now on my last one, you know, you had the... Yeah, let me show you. All right, I'm back. Sorry, forgot to put the other flashlight upstairs away. I actually put something away for once in my life. But, so with the, the old, with the T28 Artemis, you could put the, switch but it was a wired one it was a wired switch on the t28 but with the t18 it's a remoteless switch now to sync the two what you do is you half push in on this till the light comes on and then push the power button on here and then you can click it on and then the controller runs it and you can lower the brightness with it and then strengthen the brightness with it. Now the light actually comes in choices of lights. Um, they got a UV light, they got the blue, they got the white, they got the green, and they got the red. Um, obviously I went with white, green, and red because I'm just using mine for hunting. I don't I use night vision so I don't have any need for the UV. Um, the only thing uh, different, really, I mean, besides the, with this one, you do have to change the bulbs out from white to green to red, like most other, you know, where the T28, you know, you just flip the switch and it switched the light out for you. So <clears throat> that's the big difference there. Um, but I got the other bulbs here. I got the red and the green right here. So what we're gonna do, is uh, later on tonight, we're gonna go out and play with this. Uh, I'll run you down the stats real quick on this thing. Oh, that's the T28, where's my T18? I just had it. <laughs> uh, is it? That's definitely not it. Where's my T18 card? I had the T18 card, so right here. 
Maybe I'll have to get the box. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Oh, they sent me a Christmas card in there too. It's pretty nice. Alright, let's go through this. The T18. Uh, max 650 lumens. Alright, let's run down it. Alright, with the right light, white light, max 650 lumens. At its lowest, it's 380 lumens. Uh, the battery runs for 195 minutes. Uh, beam distance is about 689 yards or 330 meters. Um, at the red light, it goes 150 lumens at its highest, and at its lowest, it's 75 lumens. The battery runs forever. The battery runtime will go for 370 minutes. Um, with it, um, and its beam distance is 360 meters or 394 yards. And then uh, on the green light, you got 330 lumens, and uh, with its lowest at 80. Um, the battery will run for 400 minutes on the green light, and your beam distance is uh, 450 meters or 492.13 yards. So there we go. But yeah, we'll take this out later. We'll kind of show you the differences between the white, the green, and the red. Slapping on my 30 out six. Um, and then we might have a little fun. <laughs> First I gotta find something to blow up. I do have this. Got this Christmas popcorn tin. I can blow that up. We just might have to do that. But we'll check you out after the sun goes down because it's still light out when we get out there. But all right. See y'all out there. All right, everybody, it's dark, and we are out here. Coyotes are hollering at us. They were not happy we snuck up on them. I wish I had the rifle loaded. Might have got a couple. Um, so we're out at the gun range. So this is a 100-yard gun range. Well, it's technically like 98.3 yards. Um, we could move it back, but the trees are right there. We don't want to cut down the trees, so. Um, we got the light here. Got it you can see, I already got it synced up with the controller on the butt. And I said the nice thing about that, there is no wire in your way whatsoever. I love that feature a lot. So We'll get you pointed down and see what we're looking at. All right, everybody. Now I got the camera zoomed to 16 times because that's what my scope is zoomed at. So that way you'll kind of see what I'm seeing. I know the lenses are different. Um, the scope actually should gather way more light than the camera does. But you'll at least be able to see yards the camera at 16 zoom I hope the camera's picking that up as good as I can now what we're looking at there is that there's a that giant tin can is sitting on top right there that's the white light I'll try to hit the camera um, that's the white light now we'll take a look and see what the red light looks like Well, actually, no, we'll go green light next. Oh, I did want to mention, as I said, this 
this light is also zoomable, so you can zoom it in, and zoom it out, and dim the light, and brighten the light. All on that control that hooks to my, uh, you know, that wireless hook. Now to zoom in and out, again, it's at the front of the flashlight, just like it was on the other one. So, all right, now we're gonna switch to green and see what that looks like. All right, now we got the green on. Let's see what that looks like. I don't know how well you guys can see that. video camera doesn't gather light near as good as the scope does. Man, if you could see that through my scope, that is gorgeous. That's perfect. And again, twist the front, bring it out, and zoom it in. And on the switch, switch. That is so cool. There's no wire to get in your way. Alright, now let's switch to the red. Alright, now we got the red on. Again, 100 yards. So I know the camera doesn't pick up the light as well, especially the red. Uh, well, it looks like it's coming in pretty good. That's at 100 yards. All right, everybody, this is the end of the uh, flashlight review. I was gonna blow some stuff up. I forgot to bring bullets with me. <laughs> I was gonna run back, because this is actually the next weekend. I shot that last Sunday. And today's Friday of the next weekend. I was going to run back out there and uh, blow stuff up again, but uh, time just doesn't go. I ended up spending a lot of time at the office yesterday. I got to get some stuff together for work. But tomorrow I'm trying to get out and do a winter uh, camping trip. Um, so hopefully I can get that done. Uh, so I just ain't got much time, but you guys saw the light works amazing. Um, don't forget to program it, half push it, then hit the power button on here, then push it all the way in, and then it works. So then you can dim down the light with this thing and dim it up. You saw how it looked at 100 yards, it works great. I'll do another video sometime of me blowing stuff up. I got plenty of Tannerite to do that and private pop property to do it on. But uh, <laughs> it's an awesome light. Check in the description below. Go check it out. It is a little lighter. This is the T18. It's a little lighter and a little shorter than the T28. Uh, um, so the disadvantage is having to switch out the bulbs instead of having the click of the switch on the light itself. But it's probably be a better like bow or smaller caliber like I'm thinking of putting this on up my HMR 17 and uh, maybe I'll take it out and do some coyote hunting with it on my HMR 17 uh, but uh, that'll be a video for another day um, other than that yeah go check them out um, thanks for watching and never forget Genesis 9.3 see y'all later